Hey guys, Barefoot Burpees, and today I've done Chris Shawarma's routine, 100 pull-ups, 100 one-pump burpees, and the 100 squats as a 1-1-1 format, and you do it for time, and you pull until your chin's around bar height, so these aren't completely forearm pulls, but um, that's fine, you know, pulling to 90 degrees is more like a brachialis pull up and doing say a muscle up is more of a delt pull and doing a row is more of a lat rhomboid pull and doing a chin up is more of a bicep pull. So if I want to work all these kind of pulls frequently, um, it's good to know what's being worked and how and why. Um, in the past, I have used to think a pull-up should be to fall wrong, um, but there's a time and a place. You know, I remind myself, um, like I used to look at people's push-up form and think, well, if the chest doesn't hit the ground, is it that good? You know, and if you bridge the top portion, but every, every exercise, every way of moving the human body has got a, if not a purpose, then um, a functionality about it. And there is no right or wrong about moving your body. And uh, I think in the fitness world, Yeah, in the fitness world, I think there's a tendency to see things as black and white and right and wrong. And there's only one good way of doing something, but that's just not true. And everybody's different. Um, our situations are different. Where we work out is different. I'm just about to do my muscle ups on a tree in the park. Depending on how I can get the straps hanging, will somewhat alter the um, quality of the reps I get. So um, we do what we can as well. You know, um, all different body weights, um, different ages, training histories, all that stuff, injuries to work around. So yeah, um, these thoughts were on my mind today um, because I've, I've pulled up people before about ROM and said maybe you can try harder. And sometimes they probably can. Um, I think the the area where it becomes a little bit contentious is when it is a challenge and trying to get that uniformity amongst you know competitors um, can be a little bit controversial. When I did the uh, Furious Five challenge uh, a few weeks ago, I got quite a good score in the rest to work ratio. And that was because I stopped doing push ups when the push ups slowed down. Um, I didn't keep going and going until I, couldn't, I could barely grind out a rep. Because I thought the nature of that challenge was um, max push-up, but max um, push-ups, not push-ups to absolute failure, because that wasn't specified. So yeah, maybe it's being pedantic, um, but, you know, you, it's a tricky one. Some people read it as go to uh, absolute failure, and some people interpreted it as um, stop when the, the form breaks down a little bit, you know, and you can feel like your lower back's taking over and the, the arms and the chest at which point to me that is the time to stop um, yesterday's routine uh, the unobtainium uh, I could probably have squeezed in a couple more sets but I know they wouldn't have been very good sets um, even 
as it was, a few of the, the uh, double Navy SEALs at the end of each and of Tanium weren't at 100%. You know, they were kind of, I don't know, let's say 95%. But I could feel they are a bit weaker than uh, earlier in the set. And I don't want that. I want, you know, the if you're going to set out to do a rep, it should be the rep that you want to achieve. It's going to be a different standard, different, look differently to for everybody. But if you can start approaching um, getting the kind of reps in your mind that your body can perform, then that's good training. That's good, uh, you know, performance, and it's been productive. And if you're not reaching that level of, um, you know, actualization of a rep then maybe you need to look at it. So anyway, <laughs> this has been quite a rambling chat. I only meant to really uh, discuss the, the pull-up height. Um, yeah, thanks to Chris and anyone who survived this chat. <laughs>
Yeah. 